It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis are on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway here in London. And able to get this out to the 25. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing a Stafford. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep, Isaiah McKenzie. Taken right around the 44. 44 yard punt, return of nine. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. Here we go. Now Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, a 22. And Robinson, the motion man right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now the first carry here for the running back. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That good for 19 at a first down. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Throwing Jones. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Illegal touching. Offense. So they say he went out of bounds, came back in, then touched the football. Can't be the first guy to touch it when you come back in bounds. 
That's why the penalty goes against them. Have to know where you are on the field. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. From eight yards out. And the Giants will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Five plays there on that drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. Well. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and ten, as they've got it as we resume action. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now it's Stafford. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. But that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he... He knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Nine-yard line, second and six. Back to throw, Jones. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants go up by two touchdowns. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it's now 14 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
Stafford. That's caught. Puka Nakua. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Here's Stafford. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Stafford. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Stafford now to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. To return is McKenzie. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there. 71 yards. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gano the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. Are the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three score deficit waiting for them at halftime, unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. No, oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Second and 10. Stafford. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. So we come upon halftime here with a bit. Well, you can't skip halftime on Sundays, but you can right here. So it's over, and on to the third quarter we march. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Giants' offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. This one is Slayton over the middle. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Here now a third down and eight. Looking to throw, Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Up. 
And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one. Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's review. made the decision to reach for the red flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. After review of the play, well, here's the call. The ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Half 18, half 18. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Off the bootleg, Jones. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And the Giants are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And this offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Singletary. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Giants are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving. Welcome back now here in London. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Gano out to kick this one away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Out of the gun, Stafford. That's quickly to Atwell on a slant. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Stafford. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 34. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Ball at the 33, second and nine. One yard game brings up second and nine at the Giants. Throwing again is Stafford. 
Short throw, it's Higby. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and third and eight now. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And he is caught and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He'll find a man over the middle. 2-2 Atwell. And this will leave him a yard short. Offside. Nice pickup of nine Defense. yards on first down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. Ready. Back to throw, Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now third down and seven. Brings up third and seven. Now Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Stafford. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought go, down. Go. Second and right at a yard. And the offense moving quickly to the line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And they'll indeed take a knee. Here's a handoff out of the gun. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. No, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say cheerio from London.